Right, hello YouTube. So today I'm going to show you a new method of texturing, which I found out today, and I need I need to show this to you. I need to do it in the next like 40 minutes because I've got wrestling later, and I don't want to miss that either. So, um, let's do a new texture on this first. So I'm just going to do it on the vet, on the chest plate because it's got a big canvas area. So I'm going to apply a base texture. I'm going to use the V2 base. So we've got this. Uh, you want to add an image texture now. So the texture, what I'm going to use is a anime one that I literally just got from Google. So don't judge me. A lot of people like anime. So as you can see, it maps like crap onto there. So I'm going to put this onto the base color and connect that back to there again. And on this one, I want to press Control T, but I've got Node Wrangler enabled. So you've got to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for Node Wrangler. And have that enabled. And then you can press Control T on an image and it'll create this mapping area for you and you can also press control shift click on it on an, any node and it will automatically link the first version like first output into the surface so you can preview it so let's go back to that one again so I control shift clicked anyway nonsense talking so you want to delete this texture coordinate here delete it press shift oh shift a search for UV and you'll get the UV map connect that to the vector and it'll be back to normal like this. So we need to create a new UV map, not modify the original one. So the original one needs to stay exactly how it is. And to change it, uh, in this panel down this side here, see this like green triangle, or like upside down triangle, click on this and expand UV maps. And this is the original Daisy UV map. You can't modify this or it will break the texture in game. So you wanna click this plus button and it'll make a duplicate of this. And I'm gonna rename this to my custom. So I know which one's which, and then from in, from this uh, UV thing here, pick custom. Again, it's still the same. So now we go to UV edit in the tab up top. And this is the image. This is the model, and you can see how it's scattered all over the place like this. And the reason why I picked this image is because it's got a nice little area over here where I can use that as like a, the canvas. So if you're not, if you can't select this thing and you, you can only select it like this, you gotta change this to edit mode. And then you press A to select it all. And on this window, you press A again to select all of that and press S. I just scale it down, or like all of it, scale it down and just press G to move it. So oh, I, don't, I don't know if I told you how to scale it down. So I press S when it's all selected and then just move my mouse. Well, I'm not holding S anymore. It does it automatically. So I'll just scale it down, click to let go of the scale and press G to move it. Like you just press G once and then move your mouse and then click. So this is the canvas of it so far. It looks terrible. I want to click off of this, so I just click into the empty area here, and I'm going to press L on this chest plate bit here. So as you can see, it's only selected the chest plate, and you can see it also selected it in here. So now you can press S to scale just that part up again, like so. And I'm going to press G to move it, like uh, roughly around there, and then I click to let go of the movement and press R to rotate. So I'm rotating just by moving my mouse around, like so. And it's, it's been really tough about it. Well, there we go. That's kind of in place. And you can see she's really fat and wide. So I press G to put it into center first. Like this. I'm just going to scale it up so it fits the image. The main rule with this is you, you don't want it to overlap the top of the image like this. Because this bit at the top up here will repeat. Like the image repeats basically as a tile. So whatever's sticking out the top there, it will capture it from down here on the image above it, if that makes sense. So you want to kind of position it where you need it to be, like so. And then when you press S to scale again, it scales the whole thing. You don't want to do that. You want to, well, S is like selected like this. Press X to do horizontal stretches like this. So you can get into the right place. I'm going to press G, move her across a little bit. I don't know where, where the fuck to put her. I'll put her there, like so. So the front bit's done. I want to go to the back now. So click again somewhere just to deselect this part. Go around the back, press L. And I want to select further up. I want to select up here as well. So I press L again. And yeah, that's the bit I want to select. And you can see it's two different parts now. So I'm going to scale these up real quick. Like so. Press G to put it into pl I'm going to work with just this one here for now. So I want to rotate till I get the right position for it, which is. Is it that way? No, <laughs> it's this way. So that's the right orientation for this. Like so. I'm going to press S and X to scale it out wider a little bit. Like so, and then I'm going to get this part. I know this part goes above it, like so. So you want to press R to rotate as well. 
and rotate it just to where you want it. S to scale and G to move. I'm going to make them overlap a little bit just because this is going to be a tedious process. Also. So like that, it's kind of in the right place. And I'll just select it all and then press G to move it around. You can see it's kind of, kind of in the right position like that. So I'm going to scale on the Y axis that way and then G to move it again. Um, I don't know where to put this. I'll, I'll just literally just put it there. Obviously, you'll have a picture of loads of different characters and stuff like that. So you can theme it a lot better. And then you can do it with other parts like up here. Press L. I'm going to do this both shoulder pads. Scale them up on this side again by pressing S and moving the mouse. And they're both in really weird orientations here. So I'm going to try and get them similar. Oh, you can just press L when you're hovering over the island like this. So... Like so, but I'll just want to select this one. I'm going to rotate it, which is upside down. It's that way. And then if I try and position position the same size, so Y again. Uh, S and Y, sorry. Then G. S and X. So now they're kind of in the right area. So I select them both. I press G and put it over a face like this. You can see. It kind of looks okay, so I'm going to do S and X because, oh, I didn't do X, S and X. Like right, so. Uh, do you know what? This is just a quick example. So let's just say you're happy with that. This looks like shit, to be fair. I'll just change that one as well. So scale it up. And then G. Let's get our eyeball on it just to be weird. R to rotate. Scale. It's a big eyeball, fuck it. <laughs> Illuminati. Wait, this eyeball is more clear, I think. Do you know what? No, I don't know why I'm putting too much effort into this. So, there's your, your my finished product for this tutorial. Let's go back to the shading tab. And I'm going to do some weird little things to this. So, not in that weird way like that, guys. So, I'm going to get this color. I'm going to put it into the roughness. And can you see how it adds like the darker bits that they're more reflective and stuff? Kind of looks cool. If I turn the metallic up, what's well, a little bit, a little bit crazy now. I'm also going to do the same with the height map. I'm going to put this into the height map, and that's crazy. So I'm going to hold Shift and drag this down so it's more accurate. So I'm going to get as low as possible, and then get the overall bump strength and lower this down. So you just get that little tiny bit of texture to it. So. There's my little chest plate. And to bake this out now, remember this UV map on this right hand side, you need to make sure you click UV map again. So you want to get the original one, not the custom one. Because if you bake custom, it'll go in like a weird shape and it won't work again. You want to go back to the original one. And I'm just going to use Baker in this case just to show you real quick. So uh, let's go into my desktop, ballistic vest, and then do the SMDI as well. Fuck it. Bake. So I'll go back to my desktop now. As you can see, it's baked the chest plate in the correct places. Like so. Go next. That's the that's normal map. And there's the SMDI map. So that's how you can do it, the new method, which I figured out today. At the moment, because I've only just figured it out, I only know how to do one image. But I'm going to, when I figure out how to do multiple images, so like say you've got like one with your logos on it, you got one with characters on it. You got one with writing on it. Once I figure that out, I will make a video on it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And also join the Discord as well. And the tools I use in here, like for the Baker, for example, to get the images out, that's available on flanker.com. It's available in both the Pro Bundle and the Basic Bundle. So enjoy the video and hopefully you learned something from this. And if you can expand on this, jump in my Discord and please let me know because I've literally just this moment figured it out. And I've got to go now because I've got to get this video uploaded and I'm going to go to watch some, watch some wrestling. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.